Hey guys, for those of you who have not heard, uh, local church Bible publishers had a split up. Um, I recently found this out myself not too long ago, and uh, the original founder has moved on and started his own ministry, the founder that started to uh, make Bibles like this. Um, his old church, which ministry would be local church Bible publishers, is still there, um, but he has went on with his wife and son, and from what I can tell, um, started their own ministry and are making Bibles themselves. This one they sent me for review. It is a Schofield red letter. Um, the print size I think is about a 10 point font. It's pretty good, pretty good font. Um, the church ministry is church, not local church, it is churchbiblepublishers.com. Um, their Bibles come with a cross on there. And instead of just saying church, this one says CBP. So if you see the CBP and a cross, you're getting a church publishers. Um, the gold is done really nice. Um, you know, you're going to see the same characteristics. It's obvious. Uh, it's like, you know, like a knife company that splits up and starts making knives. Um, you're going to see a lot of the same characteristics in their uh, Bibles. Um, I don't want to get in between, um, cause any kind of gossip things, anything like that. They uh, make awesome Bibles, and you know, God bless them both for for doing the work of God. And um, you know, we need to pray for both their ministries and that there can be peace. And you know, these are obviously brothers and sisters that loved each other and probably still do. Um, you know, sometimes we can get uh, angry, and and things can happen. Um, we need to pray that they have peace in their uh, lives and find peace in that situation. Um, let's go to uh, reviewing this thing. Um, beautiful stitching all the way around. Uh, as you can see, their, their calfskin, this is the iron calfskin, it's more of a flat. It's not shiny, uh, not high polished. It's hard to see in my light right now, and the camera kind of shows it more of a, a lighter brown um, it's more of a chocolate chocolate brown than this is showing this kind of bleaches it out the camera bleaches the color out a bit so I kind of try to get this camera to focus a little bit better to show you guys the, the grain on there what you're gonna get it's beautiful I love this Bible this is my favorite Bible so far from um, their past and present right now this is easily my favorite show the grain on this side you get all kinds of neat characteristics with the grain. It comes with two uh, honey yellow ribbons. Nice. This is a really good solid piece of iron calf skin. And here's your inside. There's your awesome stitching. And you know, they, um, I think it was uh, Eggman Mania's video, he was saying that this, you know, their son is the one that does the binding of the book blocks and stuff. He does an awesome job. It's really good. Let's see what their uh, number is. I know that my old local church one um, was a 300. Yeah, 300. So uh, Church Bible Publishers, that's their uh, website, and that's the new number for this Bible. Uh, I think they have six, six Bibles right now that they have, and... Uh, I'd have to say this is one of my favorites out of all of them. And especially because I really like the red letter. And uh, Schofield is one of my favorite. I don't agree with all of his notes, but I love the layout of this Bible. It has the introduction, the uh, note to King James, but it does not have the uh, translator to, translators to the reader. So... Uh, you won't get that with it, but you do get the uh, opening, the King James letter, and then the, um, what the uh, Schofield Bible is all about. It's very cleanly done. The print is absolutely amazing. Uh, this is my favorite print so far. Um, it just it's very cleanly done. The ghosting is minimal. It is just awesome. I'm trying to get this thing worked in. It's a little bit um, stiff out of the box, but man, you know, it's you know that's right there in Genesis, and it's pretty much flat. So I haven't had time to really use this one yet. 
pretty much just got these things a few days ago. We've read them a little bit when I've had time and worked them in. But the gold is really well done. And I was going to do this, my videos, with a tripod, but honestly, I like being able to move the camera around and give you guys kind of a visual like you're here. And uh, try not to shake it as bad, but I kind of like, you know, you guys to be able to look at the Bible like you actually own it, and that way you know exactly what you're going to get when the thing shows up. And there's all your individual uh, book blocks. With, uh, signatures each one and the stitching is done really well the cockling isn't bad at all and they get a little bit of popping but me I've always not been bothered by that it's a sound that doesn't bother me too much and this one's got just a, a little bit of it not a lot so I love that it's actually actually it's like not very bad at all so you guys that don't like the the, the cockling with local church uh, church Bible publisher um, their their Bibles don't seem to have as much cockling as the other ones so you know, if you're somebody that bugs you you're, you're gonna like this Bible the, the print is just absolutely spot on it's even all the way through um, it's just very dark easy to read it's a larger font than their wide margin 300 uh, that local church had. So church publishers, uh, what they did is they they uh, have a bigger print and they give you enough margin over here to write in and stuff, but you're getting a, a larger print and a more crisp uh, quality of print and paper. Um, so from what I can tell uh, from my old edition, I, I, I really like this one. It's very nice, very nicely done, very dark. And here is the red, and you can just see how it contrasts really well with the black. It's a very nicely done. It's not too pink, not too red. You know, for me, I like it. My camera is showing it a little bit lighter, so it will be a little bit darker when you get it. So, you know, remember my camera is showing things a little bit lighter in color. Especially like when I flip the page, my camera has to take a minute to adjust the colors here. As you can see, the red looks nice. And this one has the uh, Christ in red in Revelations and in Acts. So, and then with your skull filled, you have your um, index in the back, you have proper names and then you have subject indexed here and then it goes into the regular concordance which is just huge and I mean the text is so dark it makes it so legible but here is an awesome change guys this one is really big for me because I've always did not like the maps that um, LCBP does they've always been kind of faded and I never really cared um, you know that they're doing their best um, but I really like that Church Bible Publishers stepped it up with this backside with the, I mean, look at the index to the maps. Look how dark that is. Very nicely done with the index there to the maps. And then the maps themselves, even though they're not, you know, colorful with different colors, they are definitely well done. They're, they're dark, they're legible. They, they feel substantial, they feel like an actual, you know, good collection of maps that you're getting with your Bible. So let me flip through here. And then, oh, another thing I wanted to show with this one that you don't get in their older edition when they were at the other ministry. And I hate having to talk about both ministries, guys. I just, I'm so used to them being one. And it's, it's really going to be hard for all of us reviewers that love um, the ministries that are, these guys are just doing their best to give us such awesome Bibles and I'm really thankful for them sending me this copy so it's going to be a while we're going to stumble with our words you know saying LCBP and then saying church Bible publishers um, this is a church Bible publishers but you get the note pages in the back so if you like to make notes you have extra pages in the back which is really cool kind of like a a Cam Cambridge Bible and a you know, R.L. Allen. 
So, anyways, you come to the back and you got your normal leather lined Bible. And the binding is just done awesome. This thing is just super floppy. I love this Bible. I mean, look at that thing. You can do backflips with it. And it's just awesome. So, anyways, guys, I wanted to show you that one and represent uh, Christian Bible Publishers right there. And look them up. Get a Bible from them. Um, they're beautiful Bibles. Give them a chance. Take a look at what they have. And, uh, you know, support their ministry if you like. Um, try to give them a love gift on top of these Bibles because they sell them at the price it costs to make them. And these things, this Bible, guys... It would be very expensive if you bought it from a, a, a publisher, a, you know, a company. You'd be paying 150 at, at least with this one. Easily. So, anyways, guys, check them out. Give them a try. And uh, I have another video that will be coming up with a, a uh, local church Bible, a 215 that I purchased a while back. And so look forward to that one and another video that I have on online uh, not yet but there'll be three new videos i'm not sure which one we'll post first so anyways guys god bless and look forward to talking to everybody uh, remember to like and uh, share if you can let people know that um, the videos are here god bless